my, 28F, husband, 38M, cannot comprehend how expensive a child is. How do I get through to him? Hi. I want to be a mom more than anything. I am the breadwinner in our household, 55K per year, and my husband makes significantly less than me, 30K per year. I know money isn't everything, and I certainly don't bring in a lot of money, but I am ready to be a mom and the only thing holding me back is my husband's refusal to look for a better job. He is smart and competent, but for some reason he thinks we can raise a child in Chicago on 85k per year. We don't even make enough to have a robust savings account. I feel like our relationship is at a standstill because of this, and my heart really aches because this is the only thing standing in our way. I try to tell him all the time how expensive it is to have a baby here even in the first year alone not to mention the additional medical, grocery, and educational costs down the line. He thinks we can do it on our income because his family was able to do it on less in the rural southwest with seven kids in the 90s, but he seems to be ignoring the fact how much more expensive Chicago is overall. How can I get through to him? Put a spreadsheet of expenses. Estimate different scenarios you get on bed rest and can't work. You can't return to work right away. Child needs non-standard daycare and he needs to be sod. Add college plans. You're married to someone who doesn't understand money. How are you not terrified? You mean a 28-year-old is more mature than the 38-year-old she's dating? Why do you think he dated you? Does he not understand inflation? The reality is that at $85,000 is only worth roughly $41,000 in 1995 dollars. Said a different way, in order to have the same buying power as $85,000 in 1995 today you would need to make approximately $175,000 in 2024. ETA. Kind of sobering really. Feeling like I've been apparently treading water for 30 years. How is he almost 40 and making 30k? Does he work PT or something? That's 14 bucks an hour if he's FT and you can make more than that working at McDonald's or a local gas station. You're right. You cannot in Chicagoland. Just diapers alone will break your budget if you don't qualify for Medicaid and WIC. Which I doubt you do with your combined income. Are you sure he even wants kids? Especially at his age? Is he maybe not looking for better work because he's trying to wait you out? Daycare in Chicago will cost about as much as his after-tax salary. Does he know that? How do I get my 30 male partner, 33 female, to stop mommying me? I keep seeing posts online about women complaining about their partners not doing housework or emotional loads and etc. And one thing that constantly comes up is how much they hate babying their partners. My partner babies the shit out of me and I can't figure out how to get it to stop. I'm a grown ass man and I still get. Make sure to brush your teeth. It's past your bedtime. Eat your veggies, whatever you name it. I think it's absolutely disgusting for my wife to treat me this way and I have made it very clear that I want to puke every time she acts like my mother. I was going to bed the other day and I made a pit stop at my bed stand to put my watch away and she saw that and went, don't forget to take a shower. I just about lost my shit and made it clear that I'm a full-grown adult capable of taking care of myself and if she can't allow me to do that then I will have to do it without her. The reason I was so mad was because I was literally on my way to take a shower and now I didn't want to do it anymore just to spite her but I still have to do it anyways because I'm dirty pouting. She obviously didn't like that very much and basically said that she is just trying to take care of me. How do I stop my partner from treating me, a grown ass man, like a toddler who can't take care of themselves? Before you ask, yes my hygiene is great. I even floss which she doesn't even do, and I've been brushing my teeth the entire time we've been together. Why does she think I'm going to suddenly forget? Is she just traumatized from one time I had bad breath? Tears of joy. Tell her. If you want to show you care for me, there are others ways you can do that that don't feel like you're mothering me. Make sure you have examples of what you would like instead. Pro tip. Do not jump to lewd suggestions. Have this conversation with her not at the time these reminders usually happen. Honey, I understand that you seem to have a mental list of things and tasks, but I do not like being reminded of simple things such as showering and toothbrushing. I feel like I take care of these things adequately. Do you have concerns that I don't brush my teeth or shower enough? If that isn't the case then I am going to ask you to stop. It upsets me to be reminded about things that I have not forgotten. Please stop. I chuckled at the angry face emoji. 
Like I just imagined a grown ass many throwing a tantrum because he's dirty and was going to do it anyways lol. What is your reaction when she does these things? Maybe try having a set response that doesn't take a lot of mental, emotional energy that you can use every time? It can be something like, I've told you to stop that, or, you know I don't appreciate you babying me. Or even just ignore it completely if you haven't tried that? It sounds super annoying so I feel your frustration. Have you ever talked to her about this when it wasn't as a reaction to her doing it again? Sitting her down for a conversation when you're both calm and it's not because you're made because she did it again will signal to her that you are very serious about this, to have brought it up independently of an incident. Then tell her what you told us, all of it, be friendly and calm, but make sure you get the point across. As humans, we do bad at picking up on hints, and we aren't eager to resolve things when it's in the heat of the moment. What to you may have been a clear indication that you hate this, to her might have been nothing. It shouldn't have been, but it happens and that's okay it's something that needs a little more clarity and attention. Is she an older sibling who had to take of younger siblings per chance? I find myself doing and saying things like this to people, especially my partner, partly because I got used to taking care of my younger sibling, sometimes my parents too because alcoholism, and just carried the habit into my relationships. I've gotten much better at recognizing it and trying not to do it because it has led to a lot of toxic, one-sided relationships, but if your girlfriend is used to always having to take care of someone because they couldn't take care of themselves, it could explain why she is having a hard time breaking the habit. Guy from work 33M flirting with my 31F girlfriend and she won't see it, should I be concerned? My girlfriend 31F is a nurse all the doctors and nurses have each other's work numbers. Recently a 33M doctor has started to send random texts, checking in, on my girlfriend and sending random photos of things he's seen a couple of times a week. I don't want to sound paranoid about it but I said to my girlfriend I think he's trying to flirt engage and take a shot at you. She has said I'm being paranoid and possessive and she's going to continue to respond as it would be rude and weird not to engage and from her side it's just a plutonic friendship. We have had one issue in the past where this happened with a random guy in her very extended friendship group. I don't want her not to feel like she can engage with anyone but also would like her to acknowledge that it's not typical behavior as no one else seems to do that with her and she should be really careful about the signal she's sending off. Am I being over the top in expressing my concerns? How should I manage it if she just continues and doesn't take my feelings into account? Eh she may not outright go cheat on you, but she definitely isn't an idiot and is appreciating the attention she's getting. Plutonic friendship is when a friend you thought was a planet actually turns out to be a dwarf planet. Edit. I though it was exoplanet. The monkey is swinging to a higher branch. I feel like there may be a lot of missing context here. To me this sounds like normal friendship behavior, like he's being nice and trying to have a conversation. If the messages aren't explicitly flirtatious then I don't see how it's problematic to be honest. My husband works in a hospital and he gets lots of chatty texts from some of his female coworkers. It used to bother me when I was insecure and jealous, but I realized that was a me problem and did the inner work to heal myself. Those are his friends, I love them because they love him. I trust him completely. Do you trust your wife? Having work friends that send benign texts is really not a big deal. Controlling who your partner is allowed to talk to is worse. That's not flirting though. When is the best time to tell my 32F wife 32F I got stat. My wife is pregnant for the first time and now that she is nearing the due date she has been having intense mood swings. I've still been required to go into work until three days ago. On my last day of work before maternity leave I had to leave my wife upset. She didn't want me to go into work that day because a few days ago she had had a dream where I was hurt at work. This isn't the first time in her pregnancy where she's dreamed of me getting hurt at work but the dreams aren't completely unfounded. My work is unusual and can be very dangerous at times. But I've never been hurt at work before so I reminded her of this before heading out. Apparently the pregnancy has given my wife the ability to see into the future because that day at work I was stabbed in the hip. The stab wasn't too deep and should heal up fine leaving a small scar but it was a little scary. I came back home the next day. This isn't unusual because I work at night, and my wife told me she had a dream that I was stabbed and I think it was a mixture of me being exhausted from the night before and slight fear from my wife's newfound seeing into the future ability that made me decide to say nothing about the stabbing. That was three days ago. 
I had decided it was best to avoid telling my wife about being stabbed. But then I told my sister all this and she was shocked. She said pregnancy hormones should never be a reason for me to be keeping things from my wife. She asked me when I planned on telling her and I told her I planned to do it a few days after the birth. My sister said something along the lines of, so you're going to tell her about this when both of you are exhausted instead? I got mad and basically told her she didn't know anything, she's never been pregnant before, and changed the topic. My wife is anxious, emotional, tired, and constantly uncomfortable from the pregnancy. My main goal is to help her and I don't see how telling her I got stabbed could ever make her feel better. But my sister insists honesty is always important in marriage, pregnancy hormones or not. I do feel guilty for keeping all this from my wife but I just really feel now is not the time. I am looking for the opinions of anyone other than my sister and anyone smarter than me. Do I tell my wife now when she's pregnant or go with the original plan and wait until after the baby comes? Does anyone know the best way to tell your wife you were stabbed and have been keeping it a secret from her? Please help. I would be livid if I found out my partner kept something like that for me because pregnancy hormones make me crazy. But since you already kept it to yourself for three days, it's already too late to drop it casually. If I were you, I would sincerely apologize, explain that you didn't want her to worry, but that her intuition was right this time. If there is a fallout, cause she feels that you don't trust her or something. Let it happen, be apologetic cause you clearly don't. And don't insinuate that you didn't tell her cause you think she is hormonal. What is the infantilization of pregnant women going on here? Give your wife some credit and find an appropriate time to tell her ASAP. Tell her now. Pregnancy is so hard and yes, the hormones make us more emotional but you need to tell her. If you don't and it comes out later, I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that one. If I was in your wife's position and found out my husband kept getting stabbed from me, even with good intentions, I'd be pretty pissed and deeply hurt. PP is hard enough of an adjustment. You don't need anything thrown in there that could rock the boat and make things harder. Plus she will be in an even more vulnerable position afterwards than now. Neither of you need the fallout of this making waves. You know her best but were I her. I'd be very angry you chose to keep it secret. I understand your mindset is that you're protecting her from added stress and worry. But you're also infantilizing her. She is an adult and your equal partner. How would you feel if she kept something like that from you and just decided you couldn't handle knowing? Noble intentions, but not great in practice. Also, apologize to your sister. Lol. Probably bad advice, but I think you're in too deep. Never tell her. The scar? What, I've had this since I was a kid. Acknowledge your wife's intuition. 